Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be taking you on a little tour of my house. So uh, over the last week or two weeks, I've done a lot of cleaning and tidying. It's still not perfect, but um, yeah, I, I thought I'd give you an updated tour of what my house actually looks like. So I'm going to get behind the camera now. You will no longer see my face. So this is actually the back door. As you can see, there's like, I've put this curtain over the door to try and sort of hide it. I use it as my front door though. And you open it up and out here we have the porch. So, uh, washing machine that doesn't work, and my landlord never fixes. So there's my big bag of washing to take to the laundrette. i uh, got some herbs there for my cooking, so I keep my shoes and the hoover and stuff. It's a porch, not particularly exciting. So you come in through from, actually let me show you these though. We've got all you need is love and a cat. And free cat hair with every visit. So then turning around, you walk into my house. So this is the living room. Right by the door, we have bookshelf number one, so this is starting alphabetically, so I don't know who it starts with. Adams, I think, Abrams, that is. Goes down to uh, J.G. Clay, an indie author. Up there, I have some amplifiers, and that's a heater. I've got my green screen. I actually used to, beneath that, you can see, I used to do colouring in and put that on the wall. It's just, uh, made a bit of a mess, which is why I haven't uh, taken it down. This is the working area, I'll show you that in a minute. We'll come over here, though. So on the other side of the green screen here, we have another bookcase. So uh, those up there are all books that I've written or client books. So we have Emmanuel Fombu over there. Just a little guitar thing, a tulip I brought back from Amsterdam. And uh, this is like, I have basically two different TBR piles because I try a different book every day and decide whether I like it or not. So these are all the ones I've yet to try. And then I have another TBR pile in my bedroom. Here we have Biggie's Treats Cupboard. If he hears that, he'll probably come running through. Uh, not particularly tidy, but hey ho. So uh, yeah, all of his food and whatnot. So over here we've got uh, my lamp, some fairy lights on the TV, uh, some flowers that I got just for myself to make it pretty. It's uh, a drum thing there, a piggy bank. Biggie's food bowl down there at the bottom. And then we come over here to the uh, seating area, which is also where I sit and work. My array of pillows. So I'm gonna sit down while we do this bit. Oh, that's good. Oh, oops. Unpause the mountain goats. Okay, so there we have my big TV. Uh, I appreciate it's a bit blurry because of all the lights and whatnot. And then underneath, just various bits and bobs. My current book is over on the side there. And here we have my array of computer screens. This thing that's in the way here, this is my uh, microphone for when I'm filming, but also when I'm you know recording music and stuff. And it's got a pop filter that's rubbish. Look, look what happens. Great, thank you Mr. Pop Filter. I was recording on this yesterday and I had to sing into it while holding it like this. <laughs> but anyway, I've got a little candle down there. Uh, my weights, my laptop goes down there as well. My diary over down there. I have some parcels to unbox. Uh, you know, my notebook, it's a Beatles notebook. Here we have the uh, window. Oh, there's my booktube sign and a lava lamp that I bought. Behind that, over there in that corner, I've got this big sort of psychedelic wall hanging thing that's coming. So I'm looking forward to that. That's just the curtain, I'm not gonna bother opening it, it's late anyway. So we head through here. Here we have the pathway towards the kitchen. Another set of cupboards here. This is mostly like kicking, cooking gear and, you know, plastic tubs down there. These boxes, that one there is music equipment and the bottom one is just like random cables and stuff. I always have this here. At the moment it's just really, it's got my next book, so that I've always got one ready, and then just some cookbooks as well. And here we have some more flowers, my adorable key ring that looks a bit like Biggie. Focus, oh well, whatever. That's also my subwoofer there. And here we have in the middle of the living room, because there's nowhere else for it to go, that's a freezer. So there we go. Uh, here we have my microwave, a toaster that I literally got today, because my old one broke, and a bread maker. Into the kitchen, I've given the floor a bit of a clean, you know, various utensils up there and there, and that's where my tea towels go. This is the side over here, so we've got a blender, uh, that is like a, a hot water dispenser, I guess you'd call it, it's not really a kettle. Uh, that there is an air fryer, that one in the middle, I have a baguette there, and a mug tree and all this stuff. I'm actually very excited in here, because I cleaned out all my drawers, and I've got some new cutlery look, so I have matching cutlery now, which is very exciting. Uh, yeah, just stuff in these cupboards, foodie stuff, and my sweets cupboard, that carry bag is all full of crisps. In here we've got my fridge. Oh, what have we got up in here? 
Oh, there's a slow cooker. Oh, up on the top, yeah, I haven't forgot about these. So up there, that's a slow cooker. It's a bit broken, but it still works. Ice cream maker, George Foreman grill that I use for uh, making toasties. Over there, we've got look, cups and stuff, and yeah, all the bits and bobs. And then under here, this is just the, you know, another storagey thing for pots and pans and whatnot. So we'll move on from there over into here, into the bathroom. Usually my least tidy room in the house. You can see there's like a stain on that thing there. I tried to wipe it off, it didn't really happen. Uh, toilet, you know. Actually over here we have Biggie's bowl. and uh, So there's his bowl, there's his uh, litter tray. And these used to be the other way around, but when I was cleaning in here I thought I'd swap them around. And then obviously that kind of gave me the impetus to give the floor a bit of a deep clean as well. Sink, mirror, just toothbrushes and stuff. Let me have the shower. I tried to give the shower a bit of a clean. It's, it's not the best, but it'll do. Prefer baths anyway. All right, so back out of the bathroom and through the living room we go into this little area in between the bedroom and the living room. So we have uh, Bob Marley up there. I had to clean him as well. He's like covered in soot because these things do incense. Uh, we've got some more books. In fact, there are my books just there, look. Over the other side here, this is Music Corner, so uh, a bunch of guitars and cases and whatnot, and then that's my main guitar there. Changed the strings today as well. Got a stand for that now. Uh, there's a keyboard. Up here we have this terrible Angry Birds poster. It's also very dark here, so what I've done is I've ordered a second one of those throws to go here, like a psychedelic wall hanging -y thing, and also some uh, fairy lights as well. Speaking of which, I want to show you how cosy it gets in here with the lights and stuff. It's quite chill. It's nice in the evenings just watching a movie or something. And uh, the same goes for in the bedroom as well. So we have these blue lights and we can turn them off and then they'll still, you know. So we have a Biggie here. Hello Biggie. How are you? I'm just showing people around. I hope that's okay. So speaking of the cat, he likes to sleep up there now. So I built this stack of board games to help him get up there. Uh, some people say my bedroom's a bit claustrophobic because there are so many bookcases, but I don't know about you, I quite like sleeping surrounded by books, so... Okay, here we have uh, two wardrobes there, and just some various storagey bits. That's the Beatles, flowers up there, uh, Pointless Trophy from when I was on Pointless, the TV show. A uh, bunch of books. These are all books that I need to either use for videos or just to put away. Inside these, as you can see, it's a mess inside the wardrobe because I use it for storage. A lot of eBay stuff, Christmas decorations, all that, you know, yeah. So this is pretty jam-packed. Uh, but then for my actual wardrobe, it is also quite packed, but you get the gist. That's where my clothes go, little mini chest of drawers. And then, yeah, and then we go through the bookcases. So we've got, uh, we continue from there. We've got a couple of sort of thinner ones. Over there in the corner, we have a TV. It's plugged into my Chromecast so I can watch stuff in here. And uh, there's also my exercise mat and my uh, uh, like bar thing to do uh, squats on. More bookcase there. The bit that's missing from that bookcase is for my next bookcase tour, which I still haven't filmed, and that's actually over there in that thing. And uh, yeah, little clock, another go Google Home down there. Yeah, again, my lights. I've got another light over there on the other side of the bed. Well, I'll just show you while I step back. These are the last three bookcases there. And uh, that big empty bit up there in the corner is for the Penguin Mini, no, no, the Penguin Mini Classics, the Black Classics, uh, these things. That's what these go in, but I have to read them all first. So uh, back in here, this fan is stuck it. Where are you going? Are you coming to say hello? You're gonna show people around? Yes. So this fan here is actually wired in behind the back of these books. So I can't really move it very easily, so that's why that's still there. And we've got some flowers, some more of those flowers that I got. Biggie, what are you doing? And uh, th those are my bedside books as well. All right, are we off? Okay then. Well, that's about it anyway. I would show you outside, but outside is a shit heap and we get, I don't know, it's a sketchy area, prostitutes and stuff. It's just, ugh. But the inside of my house is finally looking all right. So yeah, there we have it. That is the result of well, most of the week cleaning to be honest, but it's it's done now. I just did the hoovering again for the second time in two days. 
because uh, this little man over there, he gets he gets fluff everywhere, don't you, Biggie? Yeah. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that little insight into my life, and it gives you a bit more of an idea of the squalid surroundings in which I live. Like, if you think any of this looks dirty and or unclean, you should have seen it before, mate. But um, yeah, I'm trying to keep the place a bit tidier because it's sort of better for your mental health and stuff. And uh, yeah. So yeah, on that note, thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video and if so, what part of my house you like the most, that thing. Uh, in the meantime, hit subscribe for more videos, usually bookish. Uh, hit the like button if you are so inclined and I'll see you soon for another one. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.